This week's World Cup memory takes us back to the 1999 semi-finals and an historic drop goal that helped Australia knock out the defending champions. Andrew Blades, how good was that, Andrew? Mate, it was great. It was especially great seeing Bernie knock that one over uh, from all the way out there, especially because he can't, can't do him at training ever. So, uh, you know, it was fantastic just to put your head up and see that, that going over, and I think it really lifted us to get us home in the end. There was a lot of um, media attention around Yarni um, with his five drop goals as a world record the week before. I even put in a little bit of practice. I mean, for us, Field goals weren't really part of the game plan. Uh, we were a running side, we were about scoring tries, and uh, we had a pretty good goal kicker in Matt Burke. And Australia get the first semi final started. You know, went out in, into extra time, and our assistant coach at the time said, if you get a chance to take a field goal, don't waste the opportunity. So we got that one opportunity. Heels off the top. Larkham. I remember Grazy hit the ball up um, off the back of a line-out. The ball came out quite quick on that second phase and just picturing myself in the moment, it was um, knowing I had a quick look outside and there was really no option out there. Drop goal from Larkham. Up it goes. Could you believe it? Larkham has to be a De Beer. I had to adjust halfway through because the drop was so bad and the ball immediately started hooking. And then all of a sudden it, it squared up and it, and it got its flight and it, it uh, went well through the post. What a time to drop your first ever drop goal in international rugby.